Hey, hey, so I've been playing this game called Trinket, Tinket, Tinker Racers. So I've been playing this game called Tinker Racers. I got it in one of those fanatical game bundles. Didn't think anything of it. The second I saw the style, which was top-down 2D racing game, I love those kind of games from, from, I'm talking about from since back in the NES days, I just had to try it. And man, it's really good. The first thing you should really know is that it's not a 2D game, it's a 3D game. There is a 3D engine there and there is a physics engine going on in the background. So what does that mean? That means when you bump into things, it matters. It just adds a layer of gameplay that's really nice. The other thing you should know is it's not necessarily a racing game where you have to race to the finish line or anything like that. It's a survival game. So the way it works is if everyone's racing and you're the last person on the screen because the, the camera kind of follows the first person, it tries to zoom out and capture everybody, but it will leave you behind. And if you get left behind, then that's it. You lost that round and it brings everybody back, not to an even playing field. The person with, with the lowest score goes in front and the person who was winning goes in the back. And then you just kind of keep racing like that. Totally forgot to mention one other thing. You could bang each other out of the street and basically bang each other into things or just bang each other, period, to cause damage. And you could die from ultimately damaging the car too much. All I can say is that they nailed the physics down. It really feels like you're playing with those toy cars, like those micro machine cars from back in the days, which just brings back memories that I can't even replace. There's just something as well about racing in a home rather than it being like a dirt track or something like that. I've always wanted to play Revolt back in the Nintendo 64 days, and I never really got a chance to do that. And I felt like I didn't lose on that opportunity because this game kind of fulfilled that fantasy for me. The graphics and the audio are good. Couldn't complain about anything. If it's one thing that I found, it's that I couldn't put the controller down. I wanted to stop playing and I just couldn't. If you play this game for about an hour, you're not going to get the full drift of it. No pun intended. Because the AI sucks in the beginning, but then gets very difficult in the end. They do have an iPad version where like four people could play on the same screen, or I think it's eight people. I can't remember. But it could hold a lot of cars on screen. I love that your car stands out in the single player version. I was really tripped up when they introduced different types of cars because then it changes the physics engine. So there was one point where it was a monster truck and the physics would change. And then after a while they changed it to, I think like a 18 wheeler, but without the back piece of the truck. I'm not sure, but the physics were different then too. The sliding and the skidding and the way you drift around corners, they just really nailed the weight of what this these cars are and how it should feel. I haven't played anything else close to it in a really long time. And when I say close to it, I mean the close closeness of the feeling of the game. They must have really tweaked those variables. Anyway, I'm really proud of this game. I'm really happy to show it off. And I hope that you discover something really cool. Well, check you in the next one.